Hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And today I've popped along to share with you my vintage mannequin is what I'm calling it. Uh, basically, like I guess many of you, I saw Joy DeVee's tutorial video of the um, heart that she put together using a form of collage and it got me thinking that you often see these beautiful mannequins that have been decoupaged in old images and things and I thought you know what her idea in the mannequin would give me something that I would definitely use whereas I probably wouldn't use the heart so all I did was I popped onto the internet, found that a basic mannequin shape, I've printed it four to a page and I've cut one out, okay? Simple, simple. And now what I want to do is I want to basically just collage that with all these, obviously that's my word book, all these odds and ends so I've just gone through my scraps box which as I showed you the other day is just getting a bit ridiculous and I've picked out all these odds and ends that I think will go towards doing what it is that I want to do so I've got my old book that we use for gluing and for book pages and what have you so I'm going to pull some book pages out and now I'm going to use this as my glue, okay? One of the things that she did on her video that I thought was really clever, which I've never done before, was not to glue things down properly. So that's one of the things that I'm definitely going to be using. I will try and remember to put a link for her video in the description so you can go along and see the original should you choose to but this is my variation on a theme for want of a better phrase so I've got this sheet of vintage well numbers addresses dates this is a my port prints if you wanted to get yourself a copy of that you don't need any specific tools for this job. This is purely more scrap busting. Okay. Um, but I've always loved those and I've always contemplated buying one for the corner of my bedroom. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a paper version for one of my journals, maybe even my end up in my 52 weeks whatever right so I've just cut those four out um, I'm going to cut out these numbers just to save a little bit of time and I'm actually cutting them on the line rather than on the coloured area um, <clears throat> I trust you're all well everything's going good in your lives nice busy crafting rooms etc the weekend I do remember there was a time when weekends were about family visits but these days they seem to be about cooking and crafting once again hub is busy DIYing so if Boo gets alarmed by something make sure jump I do apologize um, <clears throat> and I'm just here spending time with you lovely people Right, so I'm not going to waste much more time cutting out because we all know how to cut out and you've got much better things to do than watch me cut out. Um, right, so let's put the scissors down, Claire, put the scissors down. Print stick as always and I'm going to start and I'm going to make sure that I'm random. So... <coughs> Let's start with this bit of book page, but get off that, that not book page, this bit of music page, but get off those straight lines. I don't really want straight lines. I'm going to just put glue down the centre and I'm going to offer it 
there. I'm not worrying about going off the lines because we can trim that at a later date. I don't know if you can hear that horrendous noise in the background. That's actually Boo drinking like five gallons of water. She obviously got first on this morning. <laughs> Always makes me think of someone running a bath when she's drinking. Let's bring that down a little bit because I don't want to waste too much of it. Um, the art to this, I believe, is about constantly overlapping, going in different directions, just keeping it interesting, like any collage, really. You know, in that respect, there's nothing different. We've all collaged. I just think it's um, going to be novel to have the shape so we'll do that one across there now obviously at the end I can I'm going to get the tear ruler out I think is the best answer um, obviously at the end I can go around and glue down any areas that I feel are too loose. I know when Joy V did hers, she um, stitched round it all, a bit like Franken paper. Again, we could do that, no problem with that. I won't do that now because obviously we've discussed before about getting my sewing machine up. I just want to get rid of that. That little excess bit there that's better now I've got a much more interesting shape and obviously every time we put a new piece on we're increasing that layer and it's getting thicker and more solid got a little bit of ledger here there these these little like dictionary definitions I believe these came from shabby dabby doodle I'm going to use this one because it says special you like things that are special I'll put that one right across the middle there like that I've got a piece of old doily here that I'm going to actually put on there, like so. Okay, we're nearly there. See, it's not very big. I've got this image of a lace tablecloth. So, some. Um, Get some of this on, like so. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I want another bit of. I'm going to use the yellow ticket this time, I think. When she uh, when Joy V did hers, she um, was adding it as a three dimensional element to a card. I'm going to be much more using this just on a normal sort of page. But I think what I might do is I might set it on some um, book page because I think. Setting it on the book page will give it a nice background. We just put that piece of music on the corner there. So, just like so. Okay, now obviously, just go around 
stick down any of these edges that are not caught. One of the main reasons I think she only glued hers in the middle was it enabled her to slide things underneath. Oh, look, we've got a little tiny, two little tiny pieces there. So I think, oh, look, what about this, this blue sort of label shape? That might be nice. Like that now some of you did realize that um, I went a little bit crazy on Thursday because I kept referring while I was doing the video to the day as being Friday when of course it was Thursday and I came to realize that was mainly because I changed my routine say creature of habit me it's lethal I usually go and do all the food shop on a Friday, but for some reason we'd been um, overzealous in the food cupboard this week, so I needed to go on Thursday. So consequently, I spent all of the rest of Thursday, like Thursday afternoon and evening, thinking it was Friday because I knew I'd been shopping, and then I spent all Friday thinking it was Saturday. Oh, I don't know craziness but funny enough i know today's saturday probably because hubby's not working it's weird very weird anyway right okay so we have got our collaged mannequin and i'm going to go around now and just trim it up cutting around the original template now of course you could have printed this onto card and you could have drawn round it on say a book page and then you wouldn't be constantly needing as it were a new mannequin shape I just well I just went a bit this way really I don't know no no plan no major reason why it's just the way I did it so there you go the silence of the concentration <laughs> that's because you all know how rubbish I am at sewing at uh, sewing Cutting scissors. See, I'm still a little bit mad. But then that's why you love me, because I'm crazy. Right, okay. So there you go. You see, now we've got this beautiful, well, I think it's beautiful. This beautiful, vintage looking collage mannequin. I'm going to ink around the edge because, well, that's what I do. Just age it up a little bit further. There's a little bit there, look, that needs a bit of glue under. And of course, this is something that you could do for any shape, any kind of collage, and just really clear out your scraps box. Because these, I mean, that would work perfectly on a tag. I've got glue on my fingers now. Um, it would work perfectly, wouldn't it, on a tag. It would look lovely on a journal page. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit across the middle there. Take some of that whiteness out. And then what I want to do is I'm going to glue two book pages together. As you know, we do a lot to get some more strength in it. Because they're not that thick. 
Oh, let's get that bit of paper out of there. Okay, close that down. Find oh, smothered in glow today. I had to get these stupid little tiny sticks of crit because when I went to the shop they didn't have any big ones and it had some ridiculous sign on the shelf that said something like delivery due 20th of February or something do these people not know how much glue we use can't we wait until the 20th of February madness okay any odd bits of excess spine glow I'm going to take a little bit of my gesso and I'm actually I'm going to use my big brush I'm going to get some gesso on there just to try and soften down the print I want the print there but I don't want it in your face as it were There we go. Check the size in. Yeah, I think that's a good enough area. Okay. Now obviously that is damp from the gesso, so that's picked up a little bit, but it will it will lay down. We're not worried. Um should we get some colour on there or should we just I think we need colour on that so here is my guys square and there seems to be some orange and some blue in there um, so I'm going to use my Crayola pens again. I liked that. I liked how that happened. And then that's a pinky reddy colour, isn't it? There must be a red in here somewhere, surely. Um, right, that's a different type of... Oh, somebody's upset there outside. Oh, there's the red one. There had to be a red one. There it is. Okay, so... On the tip of one of you lovely subbies the other day, that whilst my showing you that you can do it directly onto card, doesn't always work on paper. So she suggested or told me in her comment that she does it by adding water to it first and then it becomes a much easier paint job and she's 100% right. Because I did test this out yesterday and it just works so much better. Look at that. So no need for those expensive sprays. Obviously if you've got them and you love them, use them. But please don't think, you know, that you need to rush out and get them. Because you really don't. And then we we'll bring a bit more of the red in and just try and mingle them together with the blue and the red. Give us a little bit of sort of purple in the middle there. There you go. Okay. Okay. Let's give that a two second dry off. Sorry about the noise. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry if I've just jugged you. Right, so how is that sitting now? See? I think that sits lovely and then I feel like we need some words down there to describe it so the next job is to rough cut or 
tear off, tear the page. Okay, and then this side, I want those rough edges. So I'm just gonna tear it out like so. Okay, I'm gonna get our distress ink and get this around the edges, get some age on it. weather it's mad and the reason I say that is because if I look out of my front window it is absolute brilliant sunshine bouncing off the houses opposite and yet if I look out of the back window it's grey and dull and it feels like it's about well I don't know no word of a lie feels like about minus 10 it's absolutely for and I know for you, those of you in the States, that's not very cold at all. But for us here, that's cold. Right, let's get some glue on this. And then I'm just going to have a little look through my words that's left. There's not many. I need to get some new ones. Um, have I got an A? Have I got an A? Yes, I have. Right. So I'm going for... going for pretend That's quite a nice little message, don't you? Pretend a little. Have I got... No, I haven't got... Oh, I wonder if I've got one in black. Let me just do 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 no, I haven't got um anyway. I was just gonna I was gonna look for enjoy um and then more. I've got more. Oh, okay, let instead of enjoy, let's go for live. There you go, live will work, won't it? I like that. Pretend a little live more. I think that's quite inspirational and uplifting. What say you? So there you go. All of that from watching a video by someone else 
As always, thank you for joining me. Hope you found some inspiration in that. Stay safe. Happy crafting. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.